On now to contributor Ben Stein, who will remember the week past for a different reason. Friday, March 1, 2013, a date which will live in infamy. The people and nation of the United States were slowly and deliberately attacked by the partisanship, ideological rigidity, and lack of courage of the top levels of the government of this nation. We should not have to move a third bill before the Senate gets off their ass and begins to do something. I think he should understand who is sitting on their posterior. Government run for the people with care, devotion, and love of country went off the rails. Over the question of how much to cut spending and how much to raise taxes, both totally legitimate subjects for debate, we're going off the map of the known world and into a twilight zone of sequester Never Never Land. We're playing hazardous games with defense, with the economic recovery, with the guiding of airplanes into airports, with the education of our children. In the midst of a highly tentative and slow recovery from a terrible recession, we're threatening to throw tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, into the unemployment lines. I get the points on both sides. The Democrats want the rich to pay more tax, and I completely agree. The rich should pay more, and the middle class should have some skin in the game, too. The Republicans say we're drowning in debt and have to cut spending on entitlements somewhere. And both points of view are ideologically pure, but totally unrealistic approaches to the real world. The real world is not about absolutes. This is America, not the Third Reich. We govern by compromise. The goal here is not perfect ideological nirvana. It's the dirty, gritty business of compromise. Anything less at this point is the betrayal of those who have given their all for this country. This nonsense about the budget has gone on way too long. It's exhausting and maddening. We have a government acting like rival grade school gangs on a playground. As the great Mick Jagger so aptly said, the game to play is compromise solution. Or take someone much greater. Abraham Lincoln said long ago that America was the last best hope of Earth. Let's get way, way back for the break and show that Lincoln was right again, and Mick too. Senators, congressmen and women, Mr. President, get back to Washington, D.C. and get to work. Compromise. Work like you love America. Get it done.